Hey Michael, Stephen Key here. You had a question about the Michael Jordan wall ball, and I'm going to answer a few of those questions. I'm sure a lot of people have questions about the Michael Jordan wall ball. Number one, how did I license such a simple idea to Ohio Art, where they paid me for almost 10 years? Did I have any protection? No. No protection whatsoever. Why didn't they steal it from me then? Well, in the toy industry, number one, they count on people like us, freelancers, to send them information. And if they stole it from me, and I started talking to everybody about it before long, no one would send them ideas. And guess what? They're a great company, honest company, and I sent it in. But let me show you what I sent in, because I think it's important for you to see how sophisticated I was at that time in my career. First of all, here it is. James, could you... Our cameraman's going to zero in on here. There's the picture. There's my write-up. Got it? All right. I called it a great marketing hook name. I called it Hoop Hoop Hooray. you got to be kidding me. They actually... Ugh, ugh. It was horrible. They didn't care. But they loved the little picture. Now, I had a description. And this is what it says. Well, Michael Jordan had to start somewhere. These fun and frivolous hoops that will give hours of entertainment and indoor joy to budding sports enthusiasts of all ages and sizes. Throw the ball through the hippo's mouth. I did a few different prototypes here. Through the, uh, throw the ball through the hippo's mouth, through Jordan's arms, or in Garfield's face. I did a bunch of them. But anyway, there it is. Hey, how lousy was that? But there's more. This is what it looked like in color. Oh, this is really nice, huh? Look at this. I didn't even cut the backboard off. I was so lazy. This was a, a poster that I picked up at, I think it was Hallmark. Took a Xerox copy. I'm surprised they just put the poster. I think the poster was too big. Put it on there. Maybe I blew it up. Maybe I shrank it down. I don't know. Put it on the top. And this is what I... This is. I, I didn't even send them a prototype. I sent them this. In fact... I was really surprised because they took off all this and kept the backboard. In fact, this is such a beginning of an idea. They've actually finished it for me a little bit. Ugh, but they did. Now, here's the other good part. This is the contract. James, can you zero in on the date? Where is the date here? Somewhere here. You see the date, everybody? Yes. That's where that contract was signed. In fact... It was June 22nd, 1990. This is the last check. Can you zero in on how much that check was for? Yes, that's correct. A whopping 55 cents. I didn't even cash that check. I couldn't believe it. 55 cents. But here's the goal. No protection whatsoever. Ohio Art had the license of Michael Jordan already. And I shared that royalty with Michael Jordan. It was called a split royalty. He got some of it. I got some of it. Fantastic. I think he got more, but they never would say. But it didn't matter. It sold for almost, almost 10 years. That's right. First year, I think we did like, a, you know, first year was like a million uh, units. But for 10 years, who would have thought such a simple idea? And actually, they had it on other products besides Michael Jordan. Penny Hardaway, uh, Grant Hill. They even made some small ones that were on the back of, a, I don't know, some cereal box. So there it is, folks. The Michael Jordan Hoop Hoop Hooray. They threw that name out and called it the Michael Jordan Wall Ball. They paid me for every one they sold. I love Ohio art. You guys, jump in there. Simple ideas. Don't reinvent the wheel. Make it simple. Thanks.